Hey guys, so today I am here at the Snow Centre in Hemelhead I'm here with two Team GB athletes. I'm here with Kate Gorbarod and Rowan Cheshire. Katie is a freestyle snowboarder and Rowan is a skier and they're going to be teaching me to ski and snowboard today, which I have never ever tried before in my life. So, I'm not sure how that's going to go. But, hey guys, what advice can you give me before we hit snow? Because I've literally never stepped foot on ski or snowboard. So, any advice before we get down there? I'd say just try and enjoy it. Okay. Don't take it too seriously. I'm definitely going to enjoy it. I don't, know, yeah, don't try and think about getting yourself or getting yourself. I'm going to spend a lot of time on my belt. Yeah, it's always a laugh. It would be funny. I just have like no expectations. Yeah. Just try and do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. But that doesn't really matter. <laughs> don't worry. I've got it. Okay, so I think let's head down there then. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> I'm a trooper. So we're just heading over to Katie who's doing some interviews at the moment. She's going to show me how to put my snowboard on, <laughs> which would be a great start. Genuinely feel so out of my comfort zone right now though. I'm a Katie now. Side slipping, which is where you go down the mountain but facing forwards. Apparently, that's a good place to start. I think I'm going to end up on my bum straight away, though. But anyway, let's give it a go. So first time going down, how did I do? You did really well, like you must be Don't lie, that is so not true, I was all calm. <laughs> I feel like you got the balance right, it's just like figuring out like where to, which direction to like push yourself in, but it's like naturally. Right. Katie, first impressions of snowboarding? Um, I mean it's still very, very early days, but it's fun. And I think hopefully by the end of the session I'll be able to go in a straight line without being on my bum. Could you do this for your living, Katie? Have you seen me? <laughs> um, no! <laughs> but it's really fun, I definitely want to do this again. Yeah. I meant to come down like this. It's my style. <laughs> your one tip for Katie? Just really sit into your heels and like just try and find the balance point. Okay. 
to you half an hour on the board, do you feel like you got the hang of it? No, not even slightly. <laughs> Definitely better than when I first came up though, but no. In fact, I'm gonna wait until we put down so I don't want to call anyone today. How did that feel? Probably my best one. That's that was the last right. one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yay, high five. Thanks so much for teaching me. Oh, you're great. Oh, that was really fun. Yeah. I'm at least glad I got down one to that bit of my <laughs> <laughs> And take one. Katie doing? She's actually doing Might really be. well. She hasn't fallen over yet and I know when I first learned I fall over all the time so she's doing really really well. Katie, from your limited experience of both, are you a skier or are you a snowboarder? I mean, I've literally just jumped on these, so it's so hard to tell. Kind of felt a little bit more natural first getting on a snowboard compared to this. Like, this feels like I'm in massive flippers or something. Like, you know, when you're just a bit like, who knows? I've, I've literally just just started. Hey, I've just started. All right. Okay. I'm trying to <laughs> okay, let's go again, I guess. I just couldn't quite stop at the bottom. Yeah. I was like trying to get into that really tight. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't trying to find them. I was trying to do that. I wouldn't stop it. So, Katie, does doing something like this give you an appreciation for what? Katie and Rowan do on a day to day. Oh my gosh, it gives me so much appreciation for what they do. Like, genuinely just getting down is hard enough. They do all these crazy tricks and stuff. So, what would you say is the key for guys like you who've just started snowboarding or skiing? Um, I think you just got to be like a little bit confident with what you're doing, even if you're not really that confident. Like, if I pretend like, oh, I've got this, then it tends to go better than I'm like feeling She says. <laughs> oh, crap. I mean, 
I am going to have a massive bruise in my bum tomorrow for sure. I can't really get this pizza shape thing, this stopping. It takes a bit of practice. Yeah. <laughs> I think stopping is quite important when you're skiing. Can you imagine if this was like at the top of some like I know, run on like, a mountain? I was just like, oh my gosh. Yeah, maybe I'm actually a little bit better at snowboarding. Yeah. I felt like I had a little bit more control. Even though I've actually fell over more times snowboarding, I still felt like I could slow down before yeah. I fell over, whereas this was just like, I tried to stop. I was trying to get my heels out and they just weren't going anywhere. How on earth you do the stuff you do, I have no idea. Like, literally, even going down was embarrassing. <laughs> I wanted to be really good and I just wasn't. You've never done it before. No, I've never done it before, but still, it's really. That was quite embarrassing, really, wasn't it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you so much. Good luck with everything. I'll be watching you when you're out there representing <laughs> Okay, so we're all wrapped up here at the Snow Centre today. I've had an amazing, amazing time. Thank you so much to the girls. Thank you to Team GB for having me down. And make sure you guys really get behind our athletes as they go out to the winter. Follow them on their social media, get behind them, send them all the love and support that they need. And I'll see you next time, guys. Bye!